Once upon a time, in the land of Hushabai, round about the wondrous days of yore, they came across a, a sort of box bound up with chains and locked with locks and labeled, Kindly Do Not Touch, It's War. A decree was issued round about, all with a flourish and a shout, and a gaily colored mascot tripping lightly on before. Don't fiddle with this deadly box, or break the chains, or pick the locks. Don't ever play about with war. Well, the children understood. Children happened to be good, and they were just as good around the days of yore. They didn't try to pick the locks or break into that deadly box. They never tried to play about with war. Mommies didn't either. Sisters, aunts, and, and grannies neither, because they were quiet and sweet and pretty in those wondrous days of yore. Very much the same as now. They're not the ones to blame somehow for opening up that deadly box of war. But someone did. Someone battered in the lid and spilled the insides out across the floor. And a kind of bouncy, bumpy ball made up of guns and flags and all the tears and horror and death that go with war. It bounced right out and went bashing all about and bumping into everything in store. And what was sad <clears throat> and most unfair is that it didn't really seem to care much who it bumped or what or why or for. It bumped the children mainly. And I'll tell you this quite plainly. It bumps them every day and more and more and leaves them dead and burned and dying. Thousands of them sick and crying because when it bumps it's really very sore there's a way to stop the ball it isn't difficult at all all it takes is wisdom and I'm absolutely sure that we could get it back into the box and, and bind the chains and lock the locks but no one seems to want to save the children anymore. That's the way it all appears. Because it's been bouncing around for years and years. In spite of all the wisdom whiz since those wondrous days of yore. Since the time they came across that box. Bound up with chains. And locked with locks. And labeled. Kindly do not touch. It's war. 